Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how to add your printer manually into Adobe Acrobat Reader if it is not appearing by itself. So let's get right into it. For this, I'll be using a help article on the Adobe site. So let's get right into it. You can also consult this uh, page if you have any other questions, but let's get right into the process. Firstly, uh, one of the solutions is to restart and repair the Acrobat installation. You run the repair from going into help and then going into repair installation, and that should be it. Once it repairs, the printer should show up. However, it might not. Uh, how, so if that doesn't work, you can go to solution two, which is manually installing the PDF and printer. You need to go uh, into your device and go into start control panel and devices and printers, and then select add a printer. This is for your uh, system, not for Adobe Acrobat, but this should work. Uh, then once you go into add a printer, uh, you will get a dialog box to add a device, and then you select add a local printer. If it is not visible, click the printer the printer I want isn't listed and then it should be uh, open and visible. Uh, then in the add printer box, you select add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Then select use an existing port uh, option and select documents and the PDF from the drop down list and then click next. Uh, this is what it looks like. And then uh, you just click uh, have disk, then click browse and then navigate to the location, uh, which is C program files. Uh, 86 Adobe Acrobat version, Acrobat Extras Adobe PDF, and then select Adobe PDF.inf from the list, and then click open and click OK, and you uh, see uh, many Adobe PDF converters on the list. Uh, count six down from the top and select the printer, and then click next. You may have to try this multiple times to find the correct one. If this uh, isn't the case for you, it might depend on your Windows installation, and then you just name your printer as Adobe PDF, and then follow on screen instru instructions to complete the installation. And that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.